Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick review of the new switch or toggle feature in NFC Smart Q. Uh, now this review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags is just a really cool store, good place to get uh, NFC tags for use with your phone. So what I'm going to be talking about today or showing you on my phone is uh, the new switch or toggle feature on NFC Smart Q app which uh, basically allows you to use a single tag to toggle between two different sets of uh, commands. So uh, let's hop on my phone because I can show you much better than I can explain it. So uh, let's get on my phone and I'll show you exactly how it works and uh, I think you're going to find that it is really really cool and you're going to want to get the sap and get some anti tags and uh, start putting it to use. Okay so you can see here we got uh, our anti tags NFC stickers and uh, my Samsung Galaxy S3 phone right here is the NFC Smart Q app icon so we're going to tap that and open NFC Smart Q and here we are on the home screen uh, for the sake of this first uh, example to speed it up we're going to use something that I preset um, if you go into my tags you can see that I've already set up uh, tags for this good night and good morning good night uh, you can see it changes the notification volume, media volume, and the brightness. It lowers all those things, and then it opens my alarm clock. And then if we go into good morning, you'll see that uh, it raises the notification volume, the media volume, the brightness, and then it opens the uh, Amazon App Store. So once you have my tags set up, and I'll show you how to set those up in a minute, but uh, I wanted to just go ahead and give a quick view of how to use it for those people who aren't necessarily interested in uh, uh, you know they can figure out how to set it up themselves they just want to see it in action so basically you click switch you select tag one we're gonna select good night for that select tag two and we're gonna select good morning for that and then you see you have a little right button down here so we'll click right it'll tell us to hold it to the tags so we're gonna move our blue tag over here and just set this on that. Here, make the little NFC sound, letting you know that it read. And it wrote. So now, this blue tag here is our switch tag. So, basically what I would do is I would put that, uh, put that on my nightstand uh, beside my bed. And when I go to bed at night, first let me just show you real quick. If you look at the volume settings, you can see where they are. And then look at the brightness setting. You can see where that is. So when I go to bed tonight, I would just tap that my phone to that tag. And you see, it uh, opened my alarm clock app so I could set my alarm. And if you go into settings, you're going to see the brightness has been lowered. So if I use my phone during the night, it won't blind me. And my volume notification and media volume has also been lowered so they won't wake me up at night. Then I wake up in the morning, my alarm goes off on my phone, I turn it off, I pick up my phone, I tap it to the tag again, and it's launching the Amazon App Store. I do that so I can see what the free app of the day is for the day. And my brightness is raised all the way back up. And my volume notification and media volume have also been uh, raised to the levels I set them at. So that's how switch tag works. It's uh, pretty pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Uh, works really well as you can see. Just uh, basically just allows you to automate something by toggling between tasks. So um, for some people I know that's probably all you wanted to see was just see it in action. But for anyone who wants a little bit more detailed uh, explanation as to how you set those up, I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to set one up as if we're setting it up for a car. So uh, if you slide this little thing over, you can always see what you have on the current tag you're building. And uh, we're going to add to it. So we're going to go over here to control settings. Let's say this is for, for a car. So we'll start for when we get in the car. When I get in the car, I want to turn Bluetooth on. So we're going to enable Bluetooth. And then I want to make sure that my volume levels 
are at the highest level. So media volume, let's make that all the way up to the top. And let's see, uh, ring volume, again, we'll raise that all the way to the top. And going into volume one more time, notification volume all the way up. So those are all the way up. Um, let's see, is there anything else we would want for our car? Um, you, there may be an app that you would want to launch as your uh, sort of your car uh, car mode app if you have an app like that. Or maybe uh, maybe you always listen to a certain uh, music app. So we're, let's launch a music app. So let's select application. Let's see, I use Audio Galaxy more than anything else, so I'm going to select that. And there you go. Now, once you've done that, you click the. If you click right, you're just going to write these settings to a tag, but we don't want to do that because we're going to set up a switch tag. So I'm going to click my tag and then save this as uh, car mode. So we'll set that as car mode and click OK. Now that's been saved. So now let's set up a second one. Once you've saved it, you can see you start over, you get a clean slate. So we're going to click add. We're going to go to control settings. Um, the ringtone and the notification, I'm going to leave like it is. But when I get out of my car, I want to lower my volume down, my media volume down to just above halfway. And I want to turn my Bluetooth off. And that's probably it for me. I don't turn Wi-Fi off when I'm driving because it's actually good to have Wi-Fi on for GPS. It helps speed up the part of locating you. Um, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, there's no other apps that I would want to launch, so we'll just say that that's it. Let's uh, slide that over. So we're going to save this as my tag, and we're going to make this uh, car exit. So that's car exit. All right, so now we're ready. So let's bring this tag over here again. And we're going to go, we're going to hit switch. We're going to select tag one. And we'll select car mode. And then select tag two. And select car exit. Now we're ready to write it. So I'm going to click the write button right there. It's going to say hold it to a tag. I'm going to hold it to a tag. And it says tag reading is success, tag writing is success. So now it should be good to go. So now if I put that uh, somewhere in my car, then uh, when I get in my car, I can uh, tap that tag. First, let's uh, just check our volume levels just so we can see where that is. Um, we can maybe lower those just so we can see that it's working. All right, so when I get in the car, I tap that tag. And you'll see it's launching Audio Galaxy. You can look at my notification bar there and see that Bluetooth has been uh, turned on. And if we go into the volume levels, you'll see the volume levels for media and notification ringer have all been raised uh, as high as they can go, just as we set it up. So it did everything we needed it to. And we get out of our car, and just as we're getting out, we tap the tag again. And as you can see, Bluetooth uh, has now been turned off. And if you go into volume levels, the medium volume, volume was lowered. So that's basically how the uh, switch tag uh, aspect of NFC Smart Key works. And uh, of course, you can, I did a full review of this app showing all the other features, which you can check out. But uh, that's the uh, switch feature was the NFC Smart Q app uh, along with uh, Andy Tags um, showing you how to use the switch feature and as you can see it's really cool and there's a lot of different things you can do with it 
So you can pick up that app in the Google Play Store. You can hop over to AndyTags.com and get some uh, NFC stickers and uh, get creative. And uh, let me know if you come up with any other creative ways to use the uh, Switch feature that, uh, besides the couple that I showed you. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see my other reviews, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.